Howdy right, folks, hope you're doing well and staying safe. Well, I've now managed to get myself the Tier 7 and Tier 8 new uh, Pan American uh, uh, cruiser line. Light cruiser. So far, I like the cruiser line and I love that consumable. And I'll get to that more a bit later. But this is the, and I'm going to apologize now because I'm Canadian. I'm going to probably butcher this. It's the Colonel Bolognesia. Bolognesia? I apologize if I get that wrong. It's, it's uh, Italian or, or Portuguese or any kind of language down south. It's just not my thing. So I apologize. But overall, ship's great. I will say one thing, I do love this map in Wargaming's art department, the people who design these things. Ah, oh, fantastic job. Love it. She's got uh, some really great features, but she's starting to get a little power creep when you get to Tier 7 and Tier 8. And I'll get to that when we start doing the breakdown of the ship. Overall, I, if I had a score, like out of 10, I'm, I'm going to give it probably a solid 7, 8. I mean, they're really good, a lot of fun to deal with. They, uh, you got to make sure that you are hidden, and, and this is not a ship that you brawl in, but I'm aggressive. This is one of my games. I play aggressive. I wouldn't do it, because uh, I end up getting killed, but... Alright, so uh, let's get into the armor layout. Just like the other ones, 16 mil, 114. You can be... You're going to see start seeing Tier 9 boats, and battleships in particular. They're going to pen you and citadel you from any angle they want. So, especially something like a Musashi, you got to be deleted. Like, just be very careful. It's like a Tier 5 cruiser. Hit points at 31.4, torpedo protection, there is none. Points are good. Artillery, here's your main stick. It's AP... It's got a six and a half second reload. They're 152 millimeters. She's got three turrets. It's great, but here's the power creep. It's the range, 15 kilometers. The tier five in, in rationality was better in range. It's it's shorter, but it, it's definitely better. Torpedo tubes are great. They've got a 72 second reload, eight kilometers, 58. They're the exact same at tier five, six, and seven, and tier eight. I, again, it's not the ship's not progressing the way I like it. Now the uh, depth charge, uh, depth charge strike is you get uh, two drops and it's every thirty seconds. Again, I wish this was more range of this and a bit lower, but AA it's good. It's not great. Speed is really slow compared to the tier six. Rudder shift time is eight point six. You need rudder shift on these things because you're going to be juking and jiving. Ten point one is really good for concealment at tier seven, I think, for a cruiser, but it puts her kind of mid tier and average with the other cruisers. So again, not bad, not good. And, of course, you have your uh, firing and smoke penalty, which is still really good. Equipment, I always take main armor modification. Engine room protection, because you're going to get hit. And when you do, you're going to lose modules. I take aiming system modification one, because I want my shots to be as accurate as possible. I took the propulsion modification for this one, because I'm experimenting this one, both juking and driving as much as possible. There's my flags. She's got herself a good damage control. Like it, the heal on these things is fantastic. It's your lifeblood. But don't be popping them off in the first 10 minutes. Just stay back a bit. Hydro, again, just like Tier 5 and Tier 6, they're the exact same. Like the, sh the ships are getting, they're power creeping themselves. And there's that consumable that I told you about. It reduces your time on your consumables reloaded by 75 seconds. It's fantastic for those. That's what makes the ship. I think I have the permit. Yeah, the permit camo. Nothing big about that. Let's go into my captain. The build is the exact same for Tier 5, Tier 6, and Tier 7, and Tier 8. I use this exact captain. It's what I think is works the best for it. Because you're going to want last stand, your death come up party targeting because you're going to shoot at you. Adrenaline rush because you're going to lose health. I do think this one, Top Gunner, great. It's a really good one. R RPF is fantastic. I have really noticed in this line, it really does help to see where destroyers are and who's spotting you. But, you know, back into it. And, and uh, yeah, this is Ultimate Frontier, my, my clan mates. Um, I used to back into this part and wait for people even before they took it away. It's fantastic. I You get no torpedoes from destroyers or ships hitting you. In fact, a Sky Guy, a friend of mine, one of our clan mates, we used to back two Atlantis into this thing and just shoot on either side. It was a lot of fun. Anyway, back to what she can do. So she is a traditional light cruiser. She's nowhere near as bad as a new Japanese line, which I have just abandoned. Um, I might even sell them just to get rid of them, to get the cash back. They're not that good. But overall, the, the only struggle I'm having right now, and you should be aware of it, when you start getting to Tier 7 and Tier 8, and I'll do the Tier 8 one uh, review after this, obviously, it feels like you're being power crept. You're lacking range. The torpedoes are the exact same from tier 5 and up. Um, the AP, you, you're not going to get saturation on it, so you can only pen like 12 mil. So, yeah, you can citadel light cruisers and, you know, blow up destroyers, but battleships you're going to struggle with. I do like the line. I think it's very well balanced. I do like this ship. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what uh, tier 9 and tier 10 look like. But anyway, let me know. Let me know what you think of the boats. Are you doing the line? Are you doing the grind? Because I'm kind of curious to find out. Like I said, overall, I like it, but I'm starting to feel that Tier 7, as I said before, and Tier 8 are being power crap. So let me know in the comments below, because I always love your comments. As always, take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.